Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, purple uh, right triangle BCD fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, BD is uh, square root of 5 units and moreover this segment uh, ED is equal to this uh, segment uh, OD and furthermore uh, these are uh, OB and uh, OE are the radii of the very same uh, quarter circle. And now our task is to calculate the area of uh, this uh, purple uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DOB whose uh, hypotenuse is uh, square root of 5. And now we are interested in calculating these uh, side length uh, OB and uh, OD. And let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. Let me go ahead and call this uh, 2 times uh, x. Then this uh, radius uh, is going to be 2 times uh, x uh, as well. And now we can see that these uh, two segments uh, are uh, equal. So therefore, uh, this uh, length is going to be x and this uh, OD length is going to be x uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, x. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean uh, theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this our longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. Let me go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 2x whole square. b is uh, x whole square equal to c in our case is uh, square root of 5 whole square. So let's go ahead and simplify. So this is going to give us 4x square plus uh, x square equal to 5. Let's combine the like terms. So this is going to give us uh, 5x square equals to 5. Let's divide both sides by 5. So therefore uh, x square turns out to be 1. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore we can see that the square and square root is gone. So therefore x turns out to be positive 1 and we're going to keep the positive sign since we are dealing with the side length. And since we got x equal to 1 value, so this uh, x value turns out to be this side length is 1 and this side length is going to be a 2 times 1 is going to give us a 2. So therefore the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle turns out to be 2 units and this side length uh, OD is uh, 1. Now we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore we are going to consider this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem if A, B and C are distinct point uh, on the circle where the angle uh, A, C, B is a right uh, angle then the line uh, AB is the diameter. So therefore we conclude that if we extend uh, this uh, line uh, CD all the way to A then uh, this uh, AB is going to be the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And now let's make an observation since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle uh, BCD. We can see the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC minus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So this is also the radius of the very same semicircle. So therefore this is going to be 2 units uh, as well. So therefore this uh, diameter AB of this semicircle is going to become uh, 4 uh, units. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height. 
and in our case uh, the base of this triangle is 4 and the height uh, of this triangle is uh, 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle uh, ABD is going to be 1 over 2 times uh, base is 4 times height is uh, 1 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 2. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD turns out to be 2 square units. And in this uh, next step, I have copied down uh, this uh, right triangle uh, ABC over here to make things uh, simple. And in this uh, next step, I have drawn this uh, perpendicular uh, CP. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha. And we know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be angle uh, beta. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, BPC. We know that this angle is uh, beta. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be angle alpha. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOD. This is our angle alpha. This is our uh, 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be angle uh, beta and likewise uh, this uh, angle uh, is going to be our angle uh, beta as well since this is our 90 degree angle and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangles BPC and this other triangle uh, AOD and now we can see that these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle BPC and triangle AOD are uh, similar triangles according to angle, uh, angle similarity theorem. And we can see over here the ratio of uh, this uh, triangle, their sides is uh, 1 and uh, 2. So therefore, uh, the side length uh, for this uh, triangle is going to become, uh, this side is going to become uh, 1 times k and this side uh, is going to become uh, 2 times uh, k where k is uh, some constant and furthermore we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, triangle APC and the other triangle AOD are uh, similar triangles uh, as well according to angle angle similarity theorem and we know for this uh, triangle AOD their side ratio is 1 to 2 so therefore for this uh, other triangle uh, APC for this uh, side length uh, 2k this uh, other side length uh, AP is going to be twice of that one so that is going to become 4 times uh, k and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, AB is going to be 4k plus uh, 1k that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, k and we can also see that this uh, diameter AB for this uh, semicircle is uh, 2 plus 2 equals to 4. So therefore, I can equate this uh, 5K equals to 4. So therefore, I can write uh, 5K equals to 4. Let's divide both sides by 5. So therefore, our constant K value turns out to be 4 divided by 5 and now we know that this uh, CP length is uh, 2 times K and our K value is uh, 4 divided by 5 so therefore this is going to become 2 times uh, 4 divided by 5 that is going to give us uh, 8 divided by 5 units so thus our uh, CP length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, divided by 5 units so therefore we conclude that this uh, height uh, cp is uh, 8 uh, divided by 5 uh, units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base for this uh, triangle uh, is a uh, whole uh, this uh, diameter which is uh, 4 and the height is going to be 8 uh, divided by 5 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times base is uh, 4 
and our height uh, is uh, 8 uh, divided by 5 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 16 uh, divided by 5 so therefore the area of triangle ABC turns out to be 16 divided by 5 uh, square units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle uh, BCD and we already figured out our uh, area of triangle ABC and the area of uh, triangle ABD as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So ABC triangle area is 16 divided by 5 minus the area of triangle ABD is 2. And here I have simplified these fractions over here. It turns out to be 6 divided by 5. So therefore this turns out to be 6 divided by 5 and that is equal to 1.2 square units. So thus the area of this uh, purple triangle BCD turns out to be 1.2 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.